mga first timer oh. yung uh, gabi sa ating training uh, let's uh, commit this evening to the Lord as we pray Father we thank you so much for tonight that we can gather through Zoom meeting we ask for guidance and understanding we pray for wisdom especially Lord for our CEO that you bless him Lord and uh, make him a blessing as he will train us or teach us tonight we also pray Lord for our uh, invites and those that uh, have a problem lord in entering our zoom meeting we pray lord that you will have a good signal so they can join us tonight we thank you we bless you we honor you in jesus name amen amen, amen. sir rad take it away all right okay. good evening everyone uh, my name is rad c i'm uh i'm uh, the founder of rad Suriches. i'm very happy equally happy to see old faces and new faces attending our training so our training po is actually geared more towards personal development and value formation uh, that we do twice a week for the members of Rad Riches family. Okay, so ang goal ho natin dito is to actually empower the people personally, individually, uh, to take control of their personal finances. Diba? And uh, wait lang, I'll just uh, mute lang ha. Yeah, we officially launched last October 10, 2020. Okay, so we are now in the process of pioneering stage. We are in the pre-launch stage. Uh, we haven't just started yet. Yeah, Brother Ted, half-paced lang ako bro kasi natanggal yung jacket ko eh. Pasensya ka na, yung jacket ko sa ngipin. Yeah, baka matawa kayo yung bisa mag-inspire kayo eh. <laughs> Alright, so anyway... Uh, I'm very excited. Kami po ng mga coach leader excited uh, to advance our advocacy, uh, which if some of you don't know, is to actually alleviate poverty. Uh, una sa mga kababayan natin, especially with the situation happening all around the world, uh, but wag muna around the world, kahit Philippines na muna, the pandemic has hampered and uh, stalled a lot of our kababayan's finances. They're uh, affected uh, severely with the lack of uh, options to earn replacement income, loss of savings, loss of peace of mind, diba? So marami yung affected and uh, ako, I maintain that one of the biggest harvest places in the world today is actually the marketplace ministry because the number one need today, uh, aside from the spiritual need for Jesus Christ, is actually finances. And uh, by blessing them with uh, a way out, by blessing them with a solution to their financial problems, I believe that we will be able to gain a lot of trust, a lot of love for the, from the people because we have helped them, we have showed them the way how to address a very big need in their families' lives. Okay, so yun po ang Rad Suriches. Uh, we're also about uh, charitable works in our feeding programs. Uh, kami po ay nasisimula pa lamang po but we've already done I think six feeding programs in the last uh, nine or ten months. Uh, a part of your entry goes to our feeding programs that we do uh, from time to time. Hindi pa ho regular ngayon kasi it really depends on the person organizing it. But soon, once na everything is in place, okay, as you know, uh, during pandemic, not everything will be in place. It's hard to start a company without a pandemic, but much more uh, when there's a pandemic. But by God's grace, uh, our company, Ralph Suritas, has uh, been sustained and birthed you know, uh, supernaturally. I mean, uh, lahat po ng ating mga resources in moving forward with this advocacy has really been supplied by the Lord. That's what I believe. No? So, bila mo nag-start siya ng isang uh, livelihood program during the time when the lockdown started also. And a lot of people have been blessed uh, within the company okay, because of what we have started. So, ang ating pong topic tonight is actually very, very important to people's development when it comes to marketplace. Okay, when we say marketplace, we don't bring our needs to the marketplace. We bring our skills to the marketplace because uh, the way people value uh, our work in the marketplace is based on our skills diba? and uh, nothing more. Okay, so And it's really imperative that we empower the people with these skills. Okay, kaya ho maganda ang Rad Suriches is simply because people don't have the luxury of time to learn a new trade or a new skill to replace their income na nawala or re replace their job na nawala. And uh, I was watching someone on a Christian channel this uh, afternoon about a guy who started uh, an initiative in Peru 
during the times when 90% of the country was in poverty. And because of what he started there, now it's only 2.5% uh in, in not just poverty in extreme poverty and it was all based on practical initiatives that people can actually do and uh, you know involve their faith in and drugs which is also like that it's something that people can do on a day-to-day -day basis to help supplement or replace their income and eventually you know still get to fund whatever their calling and vision in life is all right so the title of our topic tonight is upskill, not upscale, upskill. We need to level up on our skills, okay? Old skills, uh, actually, marami ang people still trying to find ways, new ways to earn income with old skills. If you were employed before, I don't know if, I don't know the accurate number now of people who are unemployed now. And if uh, they still rely on the old skill sets, uh, that is almost impossible to really rely upon now. And one of our mission is to provide people a more reliable way to earn income, not only to endure life, but to enjoy life. Okay, Not only to endure life, but to enjoy life. That's one of our missions, to provide people a more reliable way. Okay, So in the, realistically, life does not give large trophies for small efforts. And we all want to discuss success. We all want to discuss winning. We all want to discuss uh, being uh, significant, being valuable. But life does not give large trophies for small efforts. Life does not respond to need. If life responds to need, sana lahat ng tao are not in lack. Okay? Life responds to deserve. Okay? Whatever they put in, that's what they get out. People get paid for their value. People don't get paid for their time. They get paid for their value in the marketplace. Okay? So three questions. Well, number one is uh, the obvious one. Well, what do you want to be when all of this is over? Will it be over? Of course. The Bible says that it will be over. Everything is just temporary. Even this is temporary. Okay? Just like any plague that has happened before, this too will pass. Okay? So question is, what will you be? What do you want to be? What do you want to become after all of this is over? Okay, is it still the same? Or do you want to be better? Do you want to have bigger influence? Diba? So three questions to that is, once you decide what you want to be, number one is what are you going to focus on? Okay, Because we need to really define, okay, I want to make a bigger impact moving forward with my life. I want to make 2021 my year. I want to make 2021 the year of the Lord's favor for many of my friends and relatives. Okay, but the question is, what are you going to focus on? Okay, what are you going to focus on accomplishing? What can you do now where, where you are? Okay, and don't worry about things you cannot control. Si Lord na bahala doon. But what, there are things that are within your control. Like your time, where you spend your time. Okay, what you learn, what you teach. Okay, so what are those things that you can control? What are you going to focus on? What are you going to focus on learning? A new business, a new trade, you know, a new way uh, to finance your children's education, your ministry. What is it? I'm sure you've been praying for those kind of things. Just like each and every one of us, we've been praying for those kind of things. Second question is how will you see this? The situation in moving towards your focus, what belief system will you choose moving forward? Do you want to be negative? Do you want to be positive? Do you want to live in faith? Do you want to live in fear? It's a choice. Diba? It requires the same effort, but faith is more has more rewards than fear. Okay, if you do, if you watch the media, uh, it's actually inducing fear left and right. Diba? Focus on the word of God, it's better. How will you see this? What belief system will you choose moving forward? Okay. Third is what do you do? Do you turn your crisis into an opportunity? Do you want to focus on the crisis or do you want to focus on the opportunity? One thing about uh, whenever we're trying to build something, you know, I mean, we're all experienced builders here of any organization. Uh, whenever you're trying to build something, let's say, for example, you want a beautiful garden, uh, hindi lahat ng tumutubo sa garden natin are desirable things. 
Okay, there are weeds. There are beautiful flowers, there are beautiful plants, there are beautiful views. Uh, ito alam ni Ate Ruth to kasi araw-araw yata nasa bukid eh, si Ate Ruth eh, di ba? So she's planting, teaching people magtanim, di ba? Uh, mga, ano, mga plantino, yung mga bago terminology ngayon eh. And we all know that when we're trying to build a garden, there are weeds. Tama? And you cannot actually be kind to these weeds. You cannot take them lightly. Kasi if you, if you ignore or neglect to devastate the weeds, you will be devast your garden will be devastated. You don't take weeds lightly. You devastate them. You attack them. Diba? You find each and every weed and get them out of your garden. And that's how it is in building organizations, in building a dream, diba? in building your life. It's all about challenges. You identify what needs to be removed. Diba? Important yan eh. so, and, and, uh, if you're in the marketplace, you will know that most of the weeds are in the mind. It's the mindsets that affect people, the small thinking, the limited thinking, diba? the small beliefs. Diba? So sabihin, we need to identify what is it that we need to kill and devastate diba? so we can move forward. And it's our choice. Destroy, destroy you, or break through. Diba? Kasi if you ignore something, it doesn't mean it's not there. If you ignore poverty, hindi aalis ang poverty. Diba? Yeah, if, if we show that we are actively eliminating lack and poverty in our own lives, our people, our members will do the same. They will be inspired to do the same. Okay? So, but we must make an effort to be an example, to get rid of lack and poverty in our own lives. Okay? We need to weed that out. And uh, as far as leadership skills is concerned, how do you attack, diba? How do you attack those weeds? When you're dealing, weeds don't have feelings. Un unfortunately, people do. And we're in the people business. We cannot just attack people. <laughs> diba? Communication skills is very important if you are a leader of leaders. Okay? So number one point is you need to attack the problem, not the person. In building an organization, you will meet different personalities. Different person, you want to motivate them, but not everyone is on the same level of faith. Not everyone is on the same level of an understanding. Not everyone's the same level of drive as far as drive in their life is concerned. Diba? Yung iba may galit sa hirap, yung iba walang galit sa hirap, yung ibang problema, procrastination, yung iba super hyper. Diba? So, so the principle is always attack the problem, never the person. Communication is key. And as leaders, sometimes we can be overbearing in our approach to eliminating weeds. <clears throat> diba? Instead of winning them over, we repel them. Okay? So one of the best ways to attack the problem is to acknowledge and, and uh, you know, acknowledge the problem. Just identify it for them. Diba? So you identify the problem. You can use third-party analogies. No? Like ako, I always uh, brag about one of our members, pangalan si Mags, pero Lino Mobo. Dito ba yan? Ano niya pala si Mags? Okay, so si Mags, ginagamit kong example madalas si Mags na before she met Raj Suriches, she was hopeless. And if I had her talk and give her testimony today, she will tell you the exact same thing I'm telling you. She had problem with hopelessness. She had problems with wrong decisions in choosing opportunities. She had failed before, di ba? And uh, pero what I like about her is when she encountered Rad Suriches, she made all the necessary adjustments in making decisions. Ang ginawa niya, kumurot siya ng konti daw sa kanyang ayuda at imbis na ipambili niya ng bigas at daya pero napag naubos na wala na, ininvest niya sa Rad Suriches and now she, instead of now being hopeless, she's now actually very, very hopeful. Ibang-iba na si Mags ngayon than when I first met her. So that's a third-party approach by telling people you know, at, uh, other people's testimonies. Another way is to use the feel, felt, found method. Okay, personal. Let's say procrastination. I am a master of procrastination. I tell people, I understand how you feel. I know how you feel. That's how I felt before until I found out. That's called the feel, felt, and found method, which is one of the 
uh, skills also that we teach in our in our trainings, ano? how to communicate well with people. I don't tell people I don't procrastinate because that's not true. Okay, one of our problems so as leaders, sometimes we come across people as invincible. Kasi hindi tayo nagkakamali. Ako, if I meet someone like that, I know 100% you're lying to me. Immediately, I don't trust you. When, you. when you project to me that you're perfect, okay, so I begin to think what else are you lying about. Diba? Ako, I tell people, yeah, I understand procrastination. I also do it. And I don't think that there will be a time where any person will be able to perfect the lack of procrastination. But I have accomplished much also. For the first timers, dati po kong taong grasa. Okay, so si Ate Mel, si, si Pastor Ray, di ba? Yung mga first timers, dati po kong taong grasa. And uh, from where I was before to where I am now, I can say that I have accomplished much because wala na po ako doon sa dati kinalalagyan ko. But do I still procrastinate? Yes. It still happens to me. And I can tell you the pain. I can tell you the regret. I can tell you the, the things that are irreversible because of procrastination. That's why I can teach about it. So the first thing is to acknowledge that there is a problem, but the problem can be solved. Not all at once, but you can make baby steps and then big steps diba, into accomplishing more. Because what procrastination does is it prevents you from doing what you're supposed to be doing. Diba? Pero if you're doing it and you're accomplishing things little by little, then you're defeating procrastination on a day-to-day -day basis. Okay? So uh, procrastination is one of the, th the one of the things that we need to attack. Delaying. Letting it slide. Pwede naman bukas eh. Next week na. Pag andi na lahat ng services, tsaka na ako gagalaw. Diba? So sinayang mo yung pioneering stage. It, procrastination, it eats a huge chunk of your life but leaves you in a very small corner. Hindi ko na kung napansin niyo yun. Whenever we delay doing important things, urgent things, it leaves us in a very, very small corner instead of enjoying the benefits of if versus we have done what we were supposed to do. Diba? So that's one thing. When we communicate to them that the problem with them is procrastinating, don't tell them you are the problem. That's, hindi, hindi tao yung problema, although he has the choice to change. Diba? Second is uh, mastering right choice of words. As leaders, we need to master this. Right choice of words. Example, what if you meant to say to the person, what's troubling you? Pero sinabi mo instead, what's wrong with you? There's a, do you see the difference? What if you say that to someone you love? Or what if someone you love says that to you? Instead of asking you, you're trying to minister to a person, you're trying to help a person, you're trying to counsel someone, in, ang dapat ang sasabihin mo sana, what's bothering you? Pero ang sinabi mo, because of wrong choice of words, ang sinabi mo, what's wrong with you? You're attacking the person, you're not attacking the problem. Instead of winning the person, you're repelling the person. Pag sinabi mo sa anak mo yan, I'm sure ma-hurt yung anak mo. Or any friend. Di ba? Okay? So, I mean, you, you've seen it in the Bible. God says, I love you, but I hate your sinful ways. I mean, digest that for a while. I love you, but I hate your sinful ways. Love and hate in one sentence. Galing, di ba? Love and hate is in one sentence. As leaders, we need to master that. Okay? The challenge is to show somebody you care for them, but pinpoint the thing that they need to let go or adjust. Okay, but the priority is still maintaining and building the relationship. Diba? Not telling them that they're like this and they're like that. Okay, so it takes great control to first think of the objective, show love. When you want when you correct someone, you correct them in love. Correct? Diba? You don't correct someone because you're angry. You don't correct your, your child because you're thinking ill of him or your disciple. 
or your member, di ba? You correct them in love, okay? That's the objective and make them realize something but not hurt them. Communication is key. Choosing the right words. Tayo as people don't have a right to hurt anyone or embarrass anyone. Okay? We can only encourage them and inspire them. Okay? I learned about grace when I uh, first attended a, no, and actually hindi siya Bible study. I went to the house of uh, my first Bible, my, one of my first pastors, one of my first Bible study leaders. He was our small group leader. I went to his house. Uh, I, he allowed me to go to his house and just be with his family. And nung nasa ati kami, uh, he offered me a glass of water. And then nung magpapaalam na ako, uh, natabi ko yung baso, nabasag yung baso. And where I grew up, in the home that I grew up in, sa amin malaking bagay na yun pag may nabasag. Magbubunga nga na yung parents, magbubunga nga na yung lola, magbubunga nga na yung somewhere, someone there, di ba? And it was such as if it was a very, very bad thing. Pero nung nagawa ko yun doon sa bahay nung Bible study leader ko, sabi niya, it's okay, don't worry, it's just a glass. Baso lang yan, bro, it's okay. Don't feel bad about it. And I learned something different from example. Okay? Ibig sabihin, People can learn more by showing them. Okay? More is caught than what is taught. Sometimes you don't need to say anything. Just show it to them. Sometimes you need to say something to point it out to them. Diba? Pero there are some na talagang you can actually just be gracious enough. In any situation, whether you're verbally doing it or not, grace should always be there. Okay? Be careful not to hurt or embarrass your members or embarrass your friend or your family members. Be very careful of that kasi your job is to win them over to your way of thinking that you know is correct. Diba? And that's how God did it for us. Okay? So, eh, but most people kasi, we don't have uh, most people all they focus on just is just being right. I'm right so you listen to me. I'm right so I have, I, I, I can say this. To you because I'm right. Alam nyo ba that's how wars are started? That's how fights are started? Because someone who just wants to be right? Okay? How can you win someone over if you're fighting them? Attack the problem, not the person. Communication skills is key. What I'm saying is there needs to be grace in us. There needs to be love in us. Diba? In approaching our members, in uh, approaching them whether to present a business, whether to present to them, hey, I have a solution to your problem. Uh, is it okay if I tell you about it? The way you deliver things uh, can make the difference. Diba? But if you delivered by exact words, pare meron ako ano, may solution ako sa problema mo, like walang pera eh. You see how the difference makes? Diba? Yung isa, there's grace and concern. You is a condescending. Okay? As leaders, we need to be very careful not to be condescending to people. Okay? We want to win them. Jesus was not condescending at all. Diba? He was very much full of love. Okay? Show contempt for the problem. Explain to them the bad benefits and that you care, that you want to see the ill effects of poverty stop in their lives, that you're so concerned with them that this drove me to share with you this opportunity that you might want to consider. Okay? Okay? So, and again, people's skills are not learned overnight. It's not learned overnight. Mukha lang siyang madali, pero it's actually a moment-to-moment uh, decision. Sometimes our first reaction is to react. Gusto mo mag-react ka agad kasi you know head knowledge, di ba? From, from experience, alam mo na before, pero hindi mo inisip yung approach. You know the solution, but you did not think about the approach. Two things you cannot take back, di ba? Time and spoken words. The effects are forever. Putting love and hate in one sentence, we need to master that. Putting love and hate in one sentence. The reason you're following up on them 
they need to show, they need to know that you are just concerned with them not to be left behind. Okay? When we follow up, hindi naman dahil kukulitin natin sila or gusto natin kumita, di ba? I mean, we follow up people because we don't want them to be left behind. Right now, our developments, if you open your dashboards now, uh, we announced last week that the, the insurance, the promo, the, the raffle, the dragon pay, uh, the uni level diba, is already starting. If you go to your dashboard now, uh, under activity forms, uh, you will see in the same row or column, you will see promos and andun na yung raffle, andun na yung, um, yung, yung raffle and the insurance. This mean there's developments happening already. That should tell you something, not to waste the pioneering stage. I tell people, hey, things are happening already. Don't think nothing is happening. As a company, we're already securing everything that, we'll, that we need as rads to riches. Kasi po, last couple of months, hindi pa purely rads to riches. We were in partnership with a third party. Okay, but we have decided that we can be more proud of a system that is 100% ours. Would you be proud of that? Na lahat ng services natin is under rads to riches already. Di ba? Now, when you, when you buy into this business, it's 100% ours. Okay? So, yan. So, and you need to communicate that with love. Always with love. Okay? So, whenever you're dealing with people, leadership skills, communication, okay? So, kasi alam nyo na, minsan, when you watch the news, when you watch movies on Netflix, uh, we, we capture some attitude traits that are not really uh, ideal. And sometimes we communicate in the same way. Sometimes we're pressured in our homes and we communicate in a way that's not in love, di ba? And we need to be careful of that. So, and, pero you're in the leadership position, eh. Whether you have one member or you have 10 members or 100 members, you are already a leader. Or, uh, you know, you're leading someone. Uh, you're mentoring someone. Uh, you're, emu you're emulating something to them, di ba? And uh, one way to identify weeds, weeds in their life Diba? Is uh, assess the situation, areas of concern, diba? and is it real? Okay? Is it real? Is the problem in their lives real? You need to verify the information first okay? before you say anything. Okay? Is it real? Eh, ang maganda naman ho kasi ngayon yan, some things are very obvious. Some problems are really very obvious now. Statistic, statistical data shows that finances has taken a heavy hit in our population today. Okay, so once I'm identifying areas of concern, think about the best way. What is the approach to this person? Every person is different. Okay, every person is different. Especially when the person looks up to you or respects you, you need to be very careful what you say. Okay. What is the best approach? Number three, when you identify the problem, when you assess a situation, always propose solutions. Not just the problems, you need to propose solutions. Okay? Or sometimes, alam ko, most people, they know the solution for themselves. Sometimes I ask them, so what do you think is the best course of action now? Diba? Sometimes if I have a solution, I don't impose my solution. I suggest my solution. Okay? Do you think if we do this, it will help? Okay? If I help you do this, will this improve? Diba? So, ito yung mga good points. Propose solutions by pointing out positive truths. Ano yung mga positive truths naman? O puro negative naman? Number one, we all know that most people are at home. Ano ba ang rads to riches? Home-based business. There's COVID-19 outside. Okay? We are actually helping people stay safe by earning money at home. Online. Second, we all know that the digital, the digital economy is exploding worldwide. Nakikita niyo po yan sa Facebook ninyo. A lot of people are buying and selling, buying and selling, trading online. And you, you can see feedbacks in some of them, whether it's network marketing or not, whether it's just selling food, 
di ba? Selling whatever. It's exploding. You know that it is exploding. You need to tell the person that, di ba? That you can tell them you're part of the pioneering team. Okay? Don't be a camper. Alam niyo naman ang story ng quitter, camper, and the quit, uh, quitter, camper, and successful people, di ba? I was reviewing that story again because I always remind myself I don't want to be in the first two categories, di ba? And uh, let me just pull it up very quick. Lahat ho ng, ano, lahat ng mga endeavors in life, even in the Bible, involves mountains to climb. Whether it be Moses, whether it be Abraham, di ba? There, will always, there was always mountains to climb. And life is like that. It has challenges. Okay, let me just pull up the ano lang real quick. Okay, so Moses had to ascend a mountain to receive the Ten Commandments. Okay, we know that the prophet of Elijah called down fire from heaven upon Mount Carmel. Jesus was transfigured on the top of the mountain. He taught his disciples the beatitude from a mountain top. Okay, so it's a being, you don't just arrive at some dynamic place of intimacy in your relationship with God and His presence. It's not automatic. There's always a mountain to climb, di ba? I mean, Okay, so, and in this journey of life, sabi, quitters, okay, they're not the majority. Quitters are not the majority. They only comprise of 35% of the population. Quitters are the one who pick up their marbles and go home as soon as they realize na meron palang challenge. Okay, they start up something, akala nila, wow, everything's going to be fun. Nung nakita nila may challenge, immediately they quit. Okay, so that's a quitter. They cop out, diba? They, and madalas yan, ang nagiging outcome yan, they often feel like they make them bitter, diba? Feeling na bitter, depressed, emotionally numb, diba? They have, they're a real drug to be around, hindi magaganda kasama. They're mad, frustrated with the world around them. Resentful sila and offended at others who resume the climb. They don't want to actually be with people who are still climbing the mountain of success. Okay? Kasi ayaw nilang mapilitan sila na gawin yung ginagawa ng mga gusto maging successful. The second group is the campers. Ang mga campers naman will achieve a little success and stop. Okay? In between the bottom of the mountain and on top of the mountain, they find a good spot where they can camp and hide from the ones who are continuing the climb. Okay? Tinig nila yung challenge to a certain degree, but ang hiambul nila is the comfort zone. Ang hinabol lang nila is uh, where they're comfortable in the middle, hanap silang shade, where they can relax, di ba? So, camper say something like this. This is better than most. At least, mas, dati hindi na ako ganito. Uh, mas mabuti naman ang boy ko kaysa ganito, di ba? At least, ako ganito. Hindi ako kagaya niya, di ba? So, mga plate safers. And they want to hang out with campers. They want to hang out, quote-unquote hang out with campers. They don't associate with quitters because quitters are losers and they don't want to associate with them. Campers choose predictability over fulfillment. Okay? They choose safety over freedom. They see success in life as a destination than a journey. Okay? So ano naman yung pangatlo? Climbers. Climbers are dedicated to the lifelong journey. They live life to its fullest. So if life is an ascent, Pakiat, climbers continue up and onward regardless of the advantage, background, disadvantage, misfortune, or past achievement. They they do pass by base camp to rest, okay, to recover. You mga people who are climbing Mount Everest, meron silang tinatawag na base camp where you can stop in the middle, di ba? And then uh, you can refuel, you can eat, you can sleep, you can take a bath. Though that's called base camp, no? Pero most people, hindi na umaalis doon. Climbers are conscious about not camping with the campers. Okay? And if you want to be successful, we need to be conscious of that also. Di ba? Okay. So, ito pa yung mga good. Pakita mo siya ng mga good news. There are people successful in online businesses. You will have 
di ba? Regret or envy. Or you're just gonna be sad because you know you have so much more to give and to offer the world. Okay? So it's a being, we don't want people to feel that. If I tell people, the reason you attend trainings is because we don't want you to feel, we don't want you to be left behind. Okay? So ako naniniwala ko, each and every Ras Riches family member can make a big difference in the world. You can make a big difference in setting captives free from lack, debt, and poverty. Okay, ulitin ko lang, that lack, debt, and poverty is an evil that needs to be eliminated. A lot of people, Christians and non-Christians alike, need to be set free from this bondage. Okay. You need to be conscious of, I, ako I tell people, I believe in you 100%. Whatever your obstacle is, diba, you're facing a mountain of debt, Diba? My question to you, how do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. One bite at a time. Don't think you're gonna do it overnight. Okay, hindi overnight yan. Okay? Ako, I'm starting to believe no, that people should live more in the present and be more of a now person than a tomorrow person. Okay, many are the plans in a man's heart, but it's always God's purpose that prevails. We can actually think of something, but that something will only materialize if we do something today towards building that vision that God has given you. Unleash your potential to the world. Diba? Sabihin, you are right to the world full of potential. You need to leave the world empty. Okay? Huwag kang gumaya sa marami na namatay na at uh, ginagawang pinakamayaman na lugar sa buong mundo ang sementeryo because of unwritten songs. Uh, unfounded businesses, diba? so it's been poetry that was never written, inheritances that were never given to their children, diba? okay? But most of all, you need to tell them, ito yung pinaka-importante sa lahat, in communicating with your members, in building people, in building networks, let them always know that you're there for them. Yun ang pinaka-importante. Let the, whatever season they're in, let them know you're just there for them. Don't attack them. Attack the problem, not the pe not the person. Okay. Let them know that you're there because you love them and you want the best for them. Okay. You're you're there for them, not against them, but you're against their problem. Okay. In that way, hindi sila may irita sa yon because they know that you love them and you're not there to offend them or degrade them, diba? or be condescending to them, or that prove that you're better than them. I'm your leader. I'm your upline. Listen to me. Don't be like that. That's being obnoxious. Diba? Exemplify God's love and humility to people. One of the strengths of a true leader in discipling someone is stayability. When people know that you're there to stay, whether it's marriage, Diba? Whether it's a partnership, diba? whether it's a team, stayability is important for them to see. Okay? Communication, stayability, show love and compassion, love and hate in one sentence, value the relationship more than being right. Alright? So anyway, I hope you learned some things, some random thoughts, some organized thoughts, but I hope you were blessed. I hope that uh, we will view people as someone that, God's, that God loves, that we should love also, and we want to see their potential unleashed, unleashed especially sa Raj's riches, di ba? Uh, let's go over our members list. Kamustahin natin sila sincerely, not just to activate them, but let's ask them, hey, how are you? Di ba? Okay, can I help you with something? Okay? Kasi tayo gumagalaw tayo, pero sila baka na-stuck sila. Let them know how you can help them. All right. So anyway, thank you very much and good night. Again, this is Rad C for the first timer. Salamat po ng madami. Ayan, pass.